Now, I really wish that I could sit here and tell you that I definitively 100% know that this product is the best thing since sliced bread. But this is what I will tell you. Since I've been using this product, I have not dealt with mosquitoes. But here's the problem. Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Turf Therapy. Hey, in this episode, I got something really cool for you. By the time that I air this, I will have a full, well-rounded opinion on the product known as Mama Nature's Mosquito Juice. But, you know, it's just my first impression. So Mama Nature's Mosquito Juice, they actually partnered with the Pollinator Partnership. The Pollinator Partnership is a nonprofit 501 organization. Their mission is to preserve the good bugs guys because yes there are good bugs good bugs that help plants like this be as healthy and thrive as much as possible so that's right up my alley you guys know i have a garden full of delicious things that are in full bloom and blossoming and blossoms and as you know i am preparing for that one day when i finally get my homestead so a product like this oh yeah rob's definitely interested in it this product needs to be applied 18 to 21 days. And you might be asking yourself, why Rob? Why 18 to 21 days? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm gonna answer it for you. So the average life cycle lifespan of a mosquito is 21 days. So with that being said, you want to make sure that you're continuously reestablishing that barrier. Once we do this application today, no new mosquitoes will want to enter this habitat. However, the ones that are already in this habitat, they'll kind of have to deal with it. Maybe they'll try to find a new place to go and nest, but you want to remove the ability for new ones to come in and the ones that are there, we're going to get rid of them by putting down a product they hate and this product also kills mosquito larvae as well. So that's really cool. So that is why you have to be on, your timing is everything with this product, okay? Remember that, timing is everything with this product. One thing that you don't wanna do is over dilute this product. I know with a lot of the lawn care products that we use, we can introduce as much water as we would like to stretch a product so as long as we get an even application. That's not the case with this stuff. So if you're using a high octane backpack sprayer like myself, then you're going to want to make sure that you do time management. So now I need to cover 3000 square feet in two minutes. All right, guys, the first application has been completed. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of difficult to get out one gallon over 3,200 square feet. But I did it, I did it. I moved real fast, but I did it. So with that being said, let's go ahead, wait 18 to 21 days and then do the second application. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, what's up? We're back for round two of Mama Nature's Mosquito Juice. We're about 19 days out from my last application. Um, one thing that I was struggling with was, uh, like I said in the first time I applied, was my backpack sprayer is a uh, high octane, super high octane. It pumps out one gallon per two minutes. So I just found it very difficult to be able to achieve <laughs> the application rate of my measly 3,200 square feet with that one gallon. So what I did was, I went over down to the home depot and I picked up a one gallon hand can to see if I can get closer, or at least so I can do my square footage without having to sprint like I did last time. Um, I got it down. I've only been bit by a mosquito, let's say about a handful of times at this point. Um, I have seen them but I haven't seen a large presence of them. 
so we don't have rain coming for a couple of days so right now this is the perfect time to go ahead and get this next application in Um, I can tell you one thing right now though, this right here, pumping and spraying 3,200 square feet with a hand can, I'm not a fan. We're done with my property um, and I still got a little splash left there and that splash is, based off the rate it was coming out, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it probably will go ahead and do another thousand square feet with that little splash. The variable is with these knobs, you have to get your output on these knobs just right so you can get that coverage. All right, well, that's round two complete. I'll see you for round three. Check it out guys, if you've never seen a mustard green go to seed, that's what's happening right here. The flower petals up here at the top. Now, once this flower head gets pollinated, it no longer needs the petals. So then the petals fall off. And then what's left behind are the seed pods, right? So that's what's happening. And not only that, but I think that's a great segue into why I chose to give Mama's Nature's mosquito juice a run for his money. See, as you know, this year, I have been trying to prove that lawn and garden can coexist. This season, I have not sprayed bifen or anything like bifen for any type of insect or pest control. I haven't used any chemicals for pest control, mainly because the number one pest that I had last year outside of mosquitoes were spiders. I used to walk out and underneath this freaking awning, it used to be spiders everywhere. And when I mean everywhere, they were freaking everywhere. Now, you know where they are? They're surrounding all the food. And what once used to be a nuisance, instead of working against mother nature, you work with her and you give these bugs something to do. So the spiders don't care or want the food at all. No, they want the bugs that want my food. So I let them set up as many nests as they want. As you saw in the second application, I switched over to the hand can because I wanted to see if I could get closer to the application rate. Now in this video, guess what? I'm back to the backpack sprayer. I'm back to the good old Ryobi who hasn't failed me quite yet, but I have a new tip. Well, I haven't found it. My buddy Nate from Mostly Green has found a better tip. And we will discuss that in a future video when I do an update on a slew of T-Jet tips that I've discovered since my original video on T-Jet tips. Now, I really wish that I could sit here and tell you that I definitively 100% know that this product is the best thing since sliced bread. But this is what I will tell you. Since I've been using this product, I have not dealt with mosquitoes. But here's the problem. See, if you go back and you look at my videos, even back to the How to Prune Holly videos, everything that I was doing in preparation out here was to mitigate my mosquito population. And one thing that I did before I got the mosquito juice was I threw this up. And this thing is called a Spartan, it's a Spartan Mosquito Eradicator. But the whole idea of that is you get it out right when the mosquitoes are starting to wake up and then they will lay their eggs in that and in turn, it keeps down your population. Well, what the Mama Nature's mosquito juice does is it creates a barrier around your home to keep 
the mosquitoes from even coming inside of it. So what I mean is, because I put that out, I can't tell you that Mama's Nature's mosquito juice is the sole reason why I'm not dealing with mosquitoes. But what I can tell you is, I'm not dealing with mosquitoes. As far as applying the product, it's very easy, very user-friendly. Um, smells like garlic bread, as Jordan from The Lawn Two says. So, I'll say this. If you are looking for a safe product that you don't have to worry about it damaging aquatic life, you don't really have to worry about it disrupting the natural ecosystem that you have going on, I'd say give Mama Nature's mosquito juice a shot. It hasn't failed me, but I do have one more application, as you can see. And since it seems like the mosquitoes haven't been as rampant this year, I will be doing a follow-up to this video. Um, so I'll wait another 20 days, I'll get the application down, and then once it's completely done and I'm ran out, I'll let you know if the mosquitoes still stay the way. Or even better, if the 21 days lapse and if they start returning. Either way it goes, that pretty much wraps up this episode, guys. I appreciate you checking in once again for another episode of Turf Therapy, where we're healing lawns and souls. And I'll see you next time for your weekly dose of therapy with Rob.